Good evening. As the city and region continue to mourn the death of Rochester police officer Anthony Merzerkowitz, a call for action, solutions, and love. Community leaders, law enforcement, and residents alike all joined together this afternoon. They're demanding a stop to the violence that's plaguing the city. And as Isabel Garcia tells us, they're offering some positive solutions. Isabel. Yes, good evening, Teresa. One faith leader described this moment in the city as deep and heavy, saying that the entire community remains in a state of feeling numb after all of this, while plans are being made to bury a police officer, but also while community members and individual families are having to plan funerals for their loved ones gunned down by violence. The gathering was held at the tops on Upper Boulevard this afternoon, Upper Falls Boulevard, excuse me, located in the northeast section of the city, a part which is in need of love, they say. There were ideas and calls for solutions, too. The Salvation Army was there. They say there is hope. If you're looking for something to do through all of this, come volunteer. Leaders urging individual residents to use their sphere of influence to put some love and positivity into action. At one point, RPD officer Moses Robinson became incredibly emotional when talking about having to lay his brother in blue to rest and for those community members and their families who were killed due to gun violence. The planning that is taking place right now over those people who are going to be buried. Right. That's right. How much more can we take? Not much more. None. It's time. I'm sorry, but I'm feeling this, and, 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 and I, I, we're, we're striving to do the best we can, but we need help, and we need help from the community. That emotion visible in his eyes as tears were swelling there. There are plans for community and family-centered events ahead coming up this August to stop the violence. And one will happen on the weekend of the 13th and 14th, where there will be a battle of the bands and more for the entire family taking place at Highland Bowl. And then the following weekend, there will be another event bringing in all of Western New York, calling for an end to the gun violence. For now, we'll send it back to you in the studio reporting live in Rochester. Isabel Garcia, News 8. Isabel, thank you. We want to also add that funeral services for Officer Mazurkowitz are scheduled for next Monday starting at noon. And a quick note about that funeral. Officials are clarifying that the public is being asked to watch the service for Officer Mazurkowitz on TV or online as opposed to attending in person. We will be airing that service in full right here on News 8. Governor Kathy Hochul is among those expected to attend the funeral next week. She offered her condolences during a conference with chiefs of police from across the state earlier today. She said she feels for officers who put their lives on the line each day and offered her support to those dealing with this tragedy. So I've been to far too many funerals of police officers across the state and I will always continue to just call out, reject the violence. Those of you who are willing to sacrifice your lives to keep us safe, deserve respect. You deserve our support, our support, our vocal support. And that the era of denigrating our police has to be over. Hochul added she remains dedicated to helping police departments throughout the state, both emotionally and financially.